Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with a review for Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahern and I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars so without further ado, let us get started. So this book follows Louise LeBlanc who is a witch and she is hiding from her coven in a town where magic is feared. The church protects the town from witches through witch hunters called chasseurs. After a stunt gone wrong, Reed Diggory, the captain of the chasseurs, finds himself married to Lou. When Lou's past comes back to haunt her, Reed has to decide whether or not to protect her or let her burn and it's like the story of that but it is so dang good. I loved this book with my whole heart. I expected to like it but not as much as I did. I was blown away by this book. Right from the very beginning I was instantly hooked on not only the story but the characters as well. I think that this book has some of my favorite characters that I've read about to date. I loved the world building and magic system in this. There were so many twists and turns that had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. Like this book was so addictive I did not want to put it down. I really love the war between the church and the witches because there wasn't really a clear side that you should be rooting for. They both had very valid reasons why they were fighting each other and I just really enjoyed that part of it. Lou is probably one of my favorite characters that I've read to date. She is just so fierce and sassy and I just want to protect her at all costs. I, I loved how she always put on such a brave face but she was also very vulnerable at the same time and I love seeing both sides of her. I loved the alternating perspectives in this book. I obviously I obviously loved Lou because she's just like my queen. But then I had no idea when I picked up this book that we would be getting chapters from Reed's perspective, but I think that without them, the book wouldn't have been as great as it was. I did not like Reed at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, he really pissed me off, but he definitely grew on me as the story progressed. I love that he learned to think for himself and realize that the priest's word was not gospel. I am a huge fan of enemies to lovers, it's like one of my favorite tropes ever, so I was a huge fan of the slow burn romance in this between Reed and Lou. Their banter together was hilarious and I absolutely adore them together. I also want to mention two of the side characters that are probably two of my favorite side characters ever. Like I said, I'm just obsessed with all the characters in this book. First, Ansel is like the sweetest little cinnamon roll and like I need to protect him at all costs. I love him so much. I just loved how loyal he was to Lou and how protective he was and I really hope that we see a lot of him in the next book. And then Coco, Lou's best friend, is another badass female that I love so much. I am really excited for the second book because I believe that it is following her and her power and her aunt's coven. That's my hope. I don't know if that's right, but fingers crossed. I loved her friendship with Lou and how loyal they were to each other. There was no like girl on girl hate, which was just like a great refresher because there's a lot of that in a lot of books. I am just beyond excited for the second book and I need it to come quicker. I don't know when it's supposed to be released. My guess is like 2020, 2021, which is a long time from now and I need it now. I definitely recommend if you haven't picked this book up already that you should, but I'm always late to the party so you probably have read it, but if not, pick it up. Thank you. Alright everybody, so that was my review for Serpent and Dove. 5 out of 5 stars, 100% recommend it. It's definitely like a spooky atmosphere book, so like good for around Halloween time. Witches are the shit, so read it. Thank you. Let me know down below if you guys have read this book, what you thought of it, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.